What's up everyone? My name is Morgan and today I wanted to talk about what you should major in in college if your goal is to become an actuary. I'm currently an actuarial analyst in the retirement sector, so that means that I work with pensions. And my path to getting to where I am is a bit convoluted and unconventional, um, but the long and short of it is that in college I majored in both astronomy and economics and I minored in statistics and my job experience ranged from working at a movie theater to being a NASA physics intern. A few months before I graduated from college, I decided that I wanted to try out the actuarial field and so I started applying to jobs and obviously ended up getting one. So the question is, how did I convince that company to hire me when I had no directly relevant experience and no exams passed? In order to answer this question and to determine what you should major in, we need to know what kinds of skills are important to companies. And really, you honestly need to kind of be good at everything. Like, you need to be very well-rounded in terms of skills. But to be a little bit more specific in my experience and based on some of the questions that I've asked, some of the most important skills to possess are analytical and problem-solving skills, math, computer skills, a basic understanding of business and finance, and communication and interpersonal skills. So analytical and problem solving skills refers to things like reconciling data and looking for trends. Math mainly refers to probability theory, statistics, and calculus. Um, computer skills refers to just like basic computer literacy, knowledge of Microsoft Office and especially Excel, and knowledge of a statistical programming language such as Python, R, or SQL. Business and finance just refers to the fact that actuaries are generally hired by businesses, financial institutions, and insurance companies, and their job is essentially to evaluate insurance or pension plans and either advise businesses on how to limit exposure to financial risk or assist banks in maximizing returns for various investments. And all of this requires some kind of basic knowledge of business and financial concepts. And in terms of communication and interpersonal skills, actuaries frequently work together with a team and they also interact with clients both through spoken word and through writing and they need to be able to express complex ideas in simple terms when writing reports, for example. So what should you major in to hone as many of these skills as possible? Essentially, what we're looking for is anything that touches on as many of mathematics, statistics, economics, finance, accounting, business, management, computer programming, and communication as possible. And therefore, there are several possible majors to choose from. These would include things like mathematics, statistics, economics, computer science, and physics, among possibly others like English, communications, and government. Now, you may have noticed that I did not mention actuarial science as a possible major, and this is intentional. The reason I didn't mention it is because while it would be great preparation for a career in the actuarial field, let's say you start working and gain some experience and realize that you're really just not vibing with it. So you decide to look for a job in a different field. So suddenly you find yourself looking for a job outside the actuarial field with a little bit of actuarial experience and a degree in actuarial science. Now, this is not the end of the world. However, while you know that you have a great many useful and transferable skills, it's going to be difficult to show and prove that to employers. This is especially true if these employers have no idea what actuarial science is, and that is a very real possibility. If you do want to major in actuarial science, though, I think it would be really smart to 
double major in something along the lines of economics, business, or finance, and also maybe even minor in something like communications to really round yourself out and stand out from the crowd. In fact, while you definitely do not need to, I think it would be smart to double major in general, even if you're already planning on majoring in something like economics or statistics. In my experience, employers have been very impressed with how well-rounded and flexible I am, and I believe that it's given me a pretty significant advantage in job searches. Double majoring is really hard to do, and especially so if you decide to add a minor onto that, but I do believe that it is worth it and it will help you get a job more easily and then feel more confident in that job. Now, if double majoring seems like it might be a little bit too much, I would definitely consider minoring in something that will teach you different skills and therefore lead to you becoming more well-rounded, confident, and employable. So we just discussed some skills that actuaries need to have and some possible things that you can major in in order to obtain these skills. And the main things I want you to take away from this video are that actuaries just pretty much need to be really well-rounded in terms of like being able to communicate, problem solve, analyze data, and use computers. And therefore, the best majors are things like statistics, economics, and computer science, among others. And I would recommend that you highly consider double majoring and or minoring so that you gain a wide range of skills and specialize in more than just one specific thing. Please feel free to share your own opinions on this subject down in the comments below, and please don't hesitate to ask me any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.